Hello and welcome to this pick of card reading. Today's question is what advice do I need right now for my current relationship? Now um, this is intended um, for a love relationship however if there is a different type of relationship with someone that uh, you need advice on I think you can apply it to it. Uh, this is just a general advice on a relationship that you are experiencing at the moment. We got four piles. This is pile number one, number two, number three, and pile number four. Now choose your pile. Make sure that you choose the pile you feel drawn to. Don't choose with your eyes, but choose with your guts. And we're gonna start with pile number one. Now, this is the reading for pile number one, and this is the advice for your current relationship. So, what the cards are saying is that at this moment, you don't know what to do. You're in a situation where you're very confused. You don't know what action to take. You really don't know what to do. And the advice here, you can see it for yourself, um, is just to stop don't do anything stop being impatient because now right now is not the moment for you to solve this problem um, for you now is the time to rest and to meditate probably this situation this issue is causing a lot of conflict in you and you're being a little bit um, drained by this situation so now it's not the right time to take any decision um, the cards the universe is inviting you to stop rest sit down meditate take a breathe um, and the advice here that is that sometimes uh, the best action is non-action and this is confirmed by the second card here um, this card is here and now um, in reverse this is the card and when this card is in reverse um, is inviting you not to think too much about the past and the future don't drift too much in issues of the past nor think what am I going to do in the future uh, it's just this card is just inviting you to be here now so take time out stop meditate be here now and take some rest and this ultimate card is a lovely card red garden um, this card is inviting you um, to feel grateful for the things you have is inviting you to spend a little bit more time in nature um, and to really stop and feel grateful and happy for what you have and try to look at the simple pleasure in life at this moment try to be thankful for that so whatever uh, the issue in your relationship is right now just don't do anything and rest if there's no issue related to this situation but you're just curious what advice you need for your relationship right now the advice is to enjoy it be in the present moment don't overthink it don't think about the future don't think about your past relationships don't think about problems that don't exist stop be thankful and enjoy the ride and this is the message for group number one now we're going to move on to group number two hello group number two this is your reading um, the question today is about what you should do with this relationship it can be a love relationship and it can be a friendship um, the intention was to talk about a love relationship but I think this reading is f talking about friendships I think this relationship you're talking you're inquiring about is a friendship and the cards are all saying the same um, so what the cards are inviting you to do is that sometimes we make ourselves so busy with things, people and commitments that maybe, you know, we then regret in the future because we don't really want to commit to that 
thing anymore or that person anymore and you know objects as well take up space in our lives as people do um, what the cards are inviting you to do is to prioritize what you need and to let go of what doesn't serve you anymore okay that's because when you clean up the space and clear up the clutter um, you make space for the new okay so we get rid of the old and make space for the new um, so it's all matter of prioritizing uh, sometimes friendships are you know kept along the past expiration date and they can be weighing you down um, with with baggage that it's unnecessary for you and now um, now is the time to let go to let these you know friendship go these commitments go um, don't feel anxious about letting go of whatever doesn't serve you because whenever you need something it will appear for you the universe will give it to you so you can release this grip that you have towards these person or situations um, because for you at the moment it's just clutter you need to let go from old stuff to make space for the new um, and this is um, you know the, the cards are saying it all like you know clear out the clutter see or clean it up here yeah. saying the same thing and what this card is inviting you to do the uh, butterfly garden card um, is to pay attention pay attention to your surroundings and maybe ask yourself why is that thing here what's the purpose of this thing in my life why am I allowing this thing to be in my life? Everything that's around you has to have a purpose with you as well. And don't feel guilty if you need to let go of someone. Um, that's life, you know. People change, we change, and we need to prioritize. Um, when, when you ask yourself, why is that here in this moment? Then, you know, you can make the connections and answer your questions. And, you know, this... This answer will, will lead you to discoveries about yourself and the people around you and the things around you. Uh, but the advice for this relationship is, if this thing is not serving you, um, let it go. Get rid of the old to make space for the new. Okay, this is all for group number two and we're going to move on to group number four. Um, if you don't mind, like and subscribe. Bye. Hello, group number three ring and this is the message for you in regards to your relationship this is the advice for the relationship you're inquiring about now the advice for you today is that the cards are inviting you to be how can i say it let's say that you Lately, it seems that you've been channeling all your affections to one person. And you're kind of like counting on only one person to hold you up. And this might be an issue for you because the cards are reminding you that you do have a community. You don't need to uh, count on one person only. You have friends and you have family and you need to tend to your friends and families uh, and friends and family um the author reminds you that you have a community and the community card has come out i really did shuffle the cards and re today's reading is really spot on and all the cards are really connected um so you do have a community and you need to open your eyes to all the love that is available to you from your friends and your family okay um so you need to reach out to someone the cards are inviting you to reach out to someone else as well to connect with your own community um, the cards are also inviting you to be aware of compromising compromising your true identity um, and integrity um, in order to to belong let's say it seems like you haven't been yourself lately 
um, because you're trying to be perfect for someone apparently um, but you don't have to hide who you really are and I mean see this woman here this is the observer and this woman um, in, the, in this car this woman is sitting down and she's waiting for she's still yeah and she's waiting for, for the perfect shot and we don't really know how long she's been waiting for the perfect shot and you don't want to be doing that because while you wait you lose everything else okay so that perfection is never gonna come just be true to yourself be yourself you're fine just the way you are and stop concentrating all your energy to one person only cards are reminding you that you have family and that you have friends and they too want to give you love okay i think this is all for group number three it was very quick and easy thank you very much for watching like and subscribe if you like and also um if you like to win the chance to get a free reading from me please subscribe thank you very much Bye. Hello group number four and this is your reading. Uh, the question today is um, advice for your current relationship. Um, today's readings uh, have been really uh, amazing because all the cards have connected very well to each other and they've been working together so great that I'm really shocked myself. So um, your advice is it's it's a bit difficult um because it seems that might be a matter with uh, you dwelling on something i don't know if you um in order for you to have this relationship you have to move somewhere uh, away from your family or if you are you know in separation right now but I don't know, what the cards are saying is that, first of all, stop and come out of the situation and look at the, look at the big picture. Okay, so you need to see things from the outside. You're um, too confused right now. But what the cards are saying is that you are so blessed. You're really blessed because you have so many people that love you so many people your friends your family you were you know the person that you you are in a relationship with at the moment like you you have this life full of love and you're so blessed and i don't know if you are taking the decision of moving away from these people or from someone and you feel like you know like your heart is going to break because you're very attached to your friends and to your family but the cards are also telling you the um that home is where the heart is so you really gotta follow your heart i mean if you have to leave a place to be with someone that place is gonna be there for you anyway um if this is not your situ situation, is not resonating to you, um, for you, the cards are just saying that, you know, whatever it is that you're worrying about, stop, look at the bigger picture, you are blessed, you have nothing to worry about, you have a ma an amazing community around you of people, that love you friends family boyfriends girlfriends i don't know if you're a man or a woman watching this but you are so blessed and you you can have it all and you are having it all even if you have to move somewhere else you'll be fine because these people will never leave you these people will love you no matter what and they'll be there for you if you decide to go back okay so this is all for today um, thank you for watching and if you don't mind um, it would be nice if you could like and subscribe i am giving away some free readings for my subscribers so if you want the chance to uh, win a free reading please subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching bye